Okay, in this tutorial, we'll take a look at the uh, Boolean modifiers. That allows us to model a little bit. This is for uh, pretty much new Blender users or new users to 3D in general. But we'll just cover it. It's quick and easy. So we have a couple objects in the scene, a cylinder here, and this rectangular shaped object like that. And say we want to cut a hole inside here. All right, say we want to cut a hole in this object. So what we want to do is we want to put the object in there like that and then we'll come up here to the modifiers up here on this little wrench looking tab and we'll get a boolean modifier and to do uh, to cut holes we we don't want an intersection which, which is default we and we do want a union union is kind of gluing things together we want the difference between uh, the two objects like that so what I want to do is I'm going to click on this guy well I want to need the name of this it's cube.004 this is really straightforward so you click on the cylinder and then you add the boolean modifier and then we want the difference and then we go get that cube.004 which is the name of it like this and then you apply it okay I applied it did I okay so then what I do I just take this cube move it out of the way and voila you have cut a hole right through the center of your cylinder there it is right there not bad huh pretty easy and very powerful and one thing to watch out for is on these cylinders sometimes you want to make sure you have enough vertices because if you start tilting things at angles and stuff you might want to come in to say the cylinder will affect you look at it like this see what it it has to do some pretty fancy uh, polygon building for this so sometimes it's easier if you uh, bring up this toolbar like this and do your loop cut and slide like this see look at that that's what it's loop cutting let's see what that does actually let's see how it only gets that so it has has a hard time with that let's try it again I might actually put it in there but let's try another one so my point was yeah <laughs> I can't even it can't even get multiple instances of this when I'm using the wheel mouse so we'll in fact we'll try it on the next version first so let's forget that for the second all right so let's get rid of this so that's that's intersecting it. Now let's go do the union of an object. Let's get this this one over here. I'll make a copy of this and put this in the scene. And I'll show what I mean. I'll move it over here. It's pretty close by. All right. And in this case, we're going to connect the objects together. All right. But before we do, not that I have to, but um, I'm just going to show you what I was going to do. Sometimes when I'm doing these type of operations, especially the uh, difference operations, cutting holes and stuff, I would like to come in here to this, something like a cylinder, and do my loop cut first, and then give it a bunch of loops like that. And that way I make a lot more faces on it, so then it can handle things a little bit better. All right. So we don't need that in this particular operation because all we're going to do is make this part of this object. So this is now called cube.004. So we click this one. We add the Boolean again to it. This tape, we want a union. And then we get the 004 cube. And then we apply it. Have to apply it. And then now actually they're both in there. We just move the one out of the way like that. So there it is. So now that's just a separate object in and of itself. Got it. Like, so in fact, I have one if we can look down through the center of that so you believe it. We'll take a look at this. Oh, oh, we'll try and get all these guys on top real quick. Let me just grab a few of these. Let's cut these out. Cut out these. And let's look down on the inside. Well, so it's a union of it, but you notice what it does. It does not provide the inside to it, right? So it's hollow like that alright so that's something to remember if you wanted to keep it together you could just if you needed to be part of it for whatever reason maybe you had it hollow on the top like that then instead we could just take these these two over here and instead of doing that we'll just move them together let's just try this oh yes control J that joins things so we'll just whoops gotta make sure they're both selected and now control J alright so then let's come in and get rid of that yikes get rid of the faces only alright now let's go look down and there it is on the inside alright so there's the difference between the two like that 
All right, and then since it's such a straightforward operation, as you see what I'm doing, then I'll let you experiment with the last one. And you can do the intersection of the two and uh, see what you get. All right, well, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.